Uh, what can I say? It was, uh, every win's a good win. Wasn't a thing of beauty, um, but uh, we guys, our guys showed a lot of grit um, and some maturity there, especially defensively. Not so much offensively in the last couple of minutes, but we found a way to get it done and got, uh, got the stops when we needed. So great, uh, great victory against a tough team that's probably going to be in the NCAA tournament come March uh, if they stay healthy. Stevie, what did you learn about your team there in those uh, last couple of minutes? Uh, main thing I learned is uh, when we really dig down and try to get a stop, that we can get a stop. Uh, we got to do that uh, throughout the 40 minutes of the game, and uh, we'll put ourselves in a much better situation uh, to put, put games out earlier. And Ethan, how about for you? What, what did you kind of learn about your team tonight? Um, it just showed that um, when we need to stop, um, we, we were able to get it. We got, I think, four in a row at the end, and we show spurts uh, throughout the 40 minutes, but I think we just got to get better and do it more consistent. And when you talked about uh, feeling like your team is continuing to get better, did you see some of that tonight? Yeah, uh, especially in the second half. Um, we're starting to show some maturity, which is a ways to go. Um, but um, we didn't come out as sharp defensively to the game plan, taking away certain guys' left shoulder, getting the shooters. Um, but um, baby steps, man. We're, we're not going to build this thing in a day. You know, um, guys have been through a lot. There's a lot of emotions involved, some apprehension probably from time to time. Um, but we're moving in the right direction and we're learn learning every day. That's all we can ask of our guys, learning and staying together and making sure the next, the next step is to bring that intensity and focus, you know, for, for 40 minutes. But um, we're heading in the right direction. When I believe you called timeout with 10 seconds to go before the couple stops the defense was able to get, what was the mood like and the message to the team in that stretch? Uh, shoot, from what I remember, everybody's eyes were and they were engaged and they're like, we're getting this stop and getting this win. And um, we, we uh, the second play they ran is what we thought they would run in the first timeout. <coughs> Coach Thompson had the scout and he said, watch where the guy pops and they hand it back to 21. Um, they went four low. Kendall got a really good hand on the ball. Fortunately, it went off his toe or his foot, um, and then I can't remember. Yeah, then then they set up the play that we told them that they were probably going to run in the second uh, the second uh, inbound, uh, and our guys did a really good job there. I think Stevie, somebody got a ball hand on that one. Um, they did get a good drive and get and got to the rim, um, and then we called the last time out with 1.5. We just we knew we needed a big guy on the ball, um, and then um, I was surprised that their seven footer was out away from the basket. We thought Drew would be in there with him protecting the rim, but. Um, they got a decent look, and Drew did a good job of contesting uh, without fouling. And I just I loved how engaged uh, engaged our guys were <coughs> on the defensive end um, the last minute and a half. And if we can ever bottle that and carry it over for 40 minutes, um, it'd be good. Another game with a positive assist to turnover ratio. I think seven, 17 assists on 24 field goals. But then there's the stretch, as you mentioned, without scoring, particularly at the end. What did you sense as the differences, you know, between those two styles of play? Um, you know, I just think we, we got a little tentative. Um, Kendall made a good drive, and, and you know, I don't he, – easy draw and kick. We work on it every day in practice. Trace had a great drive. I think he passed up an open look from three. Um, tried to drop it off to Drew when, when he probably should have went up with it. Um, and it was a turnover. Uh, we just, we just got to find ways to finish it out, you know, and, and as we continue to mature, um, uh, I know that, that we'll be a team that can close those games out. For Ethan and Stevie, uh, Ethan, you had the four-point play to open up the second half. Did it feel like that sparked something with the team coming out of halftime when you were down for the entire first half? Um, I think so, uh, yeah. Um, just, I just tried to run out, uh, make a play, spark us either offensively or defensively. And then on the defensive end, I just tried to get in the ball, get more ball pressure, and try to spark us that way, too. Um, yeah, definitely. That was a huge play for us. Uh, he, he stepped up, knocked down a big shot, and then knocked down the free throw, and uh, that helped us get a little offensive rhythm there to start the second half. Would have been painful if we'd have lost this with all the free throws we missed. I mean, we we shot really well the other night, 22 for 25, and we missed several front ends of one and one, and you know maybe it doesn't come down to that, but we'll we'll uh, for now settle on the positive. We found a way to get that one out. And just lastly, for all three of you, how much have you seen Alfred grow over these past couple weeks, and what was he able to give you tonight that maybe sparked you defensively? 
Uh, I've seen, seen, seen him grow a lot. Um, the main thing is he's <laughs> boxing out better. He's uh, <laughs> fighting on the boards, competing on the boards a lot better. And then uh, I think that's carrying over to the offensive end uh, these past few games. And uh, he's been able to make some big plays for us, big rebounds, big finishes. Uh, yeah, I feel like he's been playing with a lot of energy lately. And uh, I feel like that's relaxing him and helping him get into his offensive game more. And he's uh, uh, contributing on all levels. So. It's, it's nice, yeah. I think he's gotten getting used to, and we've got a, a few guys that are thinking too much, and it's causing them to be robotic, and we don't want that. Um, and Alfred's a guy that's coming out of that. You know, we want him to just go out there, pin his ears back, play hard. Um, and too many guys are worried about making mistakes, and especially on the defensive end, fly around, pressure the ball, fly around, communicate, and you can make up for anything that you maybe have go wrong on the offensive end. And, we're still trying to learn how to do that, especially those young guys. Um, but they're coming. They're getting better every day. Coach, you, your team played solid defense throughout, and many times, this is a good Jacksonville State team, they would hit off-balance three-pointers and shots at the end of, of, of great efforts at the shot clock. Did you, were you proud of the way your team responded and stayed with it defensively after some of those debilitating Yeah, shots? I mean, uh, our crack action SID texted me the other night. We lead the country. and. You know, fall away, blindfolded, banked in, threes. It was unbelievable. I mean, but that's going to average out over the course of the season. Um, but I was excited that our guys, you know, when sometimes when that happens, and there was a game not too long ago, maybe it was Loyola Marymount, banking them in and going up off the rim, where you could say, just not meant to be. Um, but this group's really coming together and showing some toughness to play through those things. I'm proud of them for it. Stephen, how, how good does it feel to kind of get into a groove for three-point range? Uh, feels feels very good. Feels uh, a lot better than uh, the beginning of the year. I can tell you that. Um, I mean, I'm just trying to stay stay aggressive and shoot the ball when I'm open and not pass up open looks. Coach, it was a pretty chippy game, kind of both ways. Whistles all over. Um, do you think that kind of contributed to the slow pace in the first <coughs> half? Did you guys think or know about how physical they played? Oh yeah, we knew we knew it was going to be a battle. Um, now they they averaged over 80 points a game, but they've played some games uh, in the in the 60s. Um, because of that, getting physical, but shoot, that's right up our our deal. We're not afraid of being physical. Um, we did. We were in a little bit of a fog defensively, again, to directly related to the scouting report, taking away guys' left shoulders. We went one possession of zone. It was a perfect possession late in the half, and we forgot our coverage in the corner and let a, one of their shooters hit a three. So there were some breakdowns there, but then we got the guys refocused at halftime, and uh, I thought I did a much better job other than a few possessions on the pick and roll that hurt us. Um, but uh, much better job the second half. And then, I don't know, was it four stops in a row there on that last possession or two? So um, when it mattered, uh, we got them. But we know, we know as we move forward and we got some tough teams in front of us and then we get into conference, we definitely have to be better. We, we know that. And um, we'll make sure that we keep grinding and get better from day to day.